five, four, they wouldn't be shocked at all. Three, two, one, ace on full, here it is. Valley prepared me more than I could ever imagine. I was so unsure of myself going into my career. And then I sat down and I realized that I did know everything. I knew how to make a package. I knew how to write a BO. And these are, these are all terms, but they're just different kinds of ways that journalists tell their stories. And I knew how to do that before I even walked in. I was pushed at Valley to not only learn from that, but to make sure that what I was doing was going to be worthy of airing at that time. So that when I actually got into a professional setting and I had the equipment, I had the resources, I had the connections, I was only better equipped to do what I've already been doing. Valley set me up far more than I could ever imagine. And I will say I lucked out getting the job so close to my alma mater because I do have some of those connections that some other journalists don't have. But it also taught me how to nurture connections and the importance of making connections in your community and being a voice for people. But you can't just be a voice for people. You have to actually connect with them on a personal basis to be able to grow that. And that's something that Valley taught me on top of all of the technical skills that I was encouraged to learn. And I, it wasn't just standing in front of a camera. I was taught how to do radio. I was taught how to voice, cut packages, cut video. I mean, the whole nine yards from start to finish, I can essentially do everything, some better than others, but I can essentially do every role, which made me an invaluable aspect at ABC. But a story that I tell with my professor, he initially told me that like broadcast might not be the best thing for me. And it was just because I didn't try, but I knew that I liked what I was doing. So I came back in and I sat down with him and I worked from then on to better myself and to prepare myself for the career. And my love for journalism started with that one single professor who nurtured it and like helped me grow into the journalist I am today. She came in to hit this office and she said, like, this is what I want to do. You know, and I was like, okay, well, I'll give, you know, you have the opportunities, let's do it. And, um, she did. I find a lot of satisfaction in, in seeing that where she started, where she grew as a student, where she is now, and just because she keeps building and growing and growing, I, mean, I think she's got a ton of potential. And that is a lot of fun for me. Um, just to know that, that here's someone that, that is part of this college, which, you know, it's Marshall, Missouri. It's a very small college, 1,500 students at best. and Boy, the sky's the limit for her, and I think that's that's uh, that's a lot for her, um, and it, it makes me feel good that that that's, that she can she can achieve whatever she wants to achieve with this. Really, ABC offered me the chance to become a reporter right out of college, before I even graduated college, when I was still young and I didn't know what I was doing and I wasn't sure if this was a career path for me. They let me in, they helped grow my career and teach me how to be a journalist that's asking those tough questions, that's digging deeper and that's finding the truth and whatever it is and reporting the facts. And from there, they've offered me a promotion. I'm now an anchor, so I sit behind the desk and I'm able to connect with the community on a basis I wasn't able to beforehand because I have a longer segment. They get to learn who I am they get to see my personality come out more and none of that would be possible without ABC. And I know from there it's only an upwards climb because they have set me up so well and given me the feedback that was so necessary to help grow my career and to continue growing it. I would tell younger me that you should trust the process. You should buy into everything you're doing because that's ultimately what sets you apart from other people. And not even necessarily other people, but it's you. I, I don't like comparing myself to other people, but I like to compare myself to who I was the day before. And that was a mindset that I was taught here at Valley 
and I've continued to grow, but I would tell myself to buy into that from the beginning. I think it took me a little bit of time to learn that and to develop that kind of aspect of myself to where I'm not in competition with other people. I don't need to compare myself to other people. I just need to be better than I was the day before. And that's all you can ask of somebody. And I wouldn't have been so hard on myself because I did used to compare myself. And I think that's what caused a bit of my insecurities. But as, you, as I grew and I became more confident in my abilities, I was able to realize like, okay, well, that wasn't the best, but let's make those small changes and tomorrow's gonna be better. And then the next day you're gonna have another mistake. But you can address that mistake and make sure it doesn't happen again. Valley really became my family. To this day, I'm two years out of school and I still come back here and feel like I'm right back at home. I am grateful for the opportunities that Valley has provided me and continues to provide me in, in terms of just having that support system and to know that I always have a home to come back to and to know that I always have a group of people that will be supporting me in all my future endeavors.